Hi, Milo here. Grid Check Macro is a great new feature in the professional edition of Fast Keys. This macro is able to select multiple items from the list, similar to the selection form. However, here you can set the output also for cases where checkboxes are not checked. Here is my phrase where I wish to enter symptoms the patient is associated with. I'll go ahead and select user input icon and grid check macro. In the first section, we define our data in tabularic form. And in this output section, we define which data will be used and how. You'll see how powerful this is. I'll name the macro and then I'll enter available entries into the selections column, double click on the first field, headache, and by the way, you can avoid a lot of headaches just by using fast keys. Now, I'll select the output checked field and set that to selection to instruct fast keys to output the selection text. I can click on preview here to see how it looks. Great, you'll say, but this is the same as using a regular selection form macro. Yes, true, but here is the trick. I want to set it up so it will output different values if boxes are not checked. Here comes a great power of fast keys. I can add some additional text into the field manually. Let's add a word reports here. You see, this is very flexible. I can select one of the predefined options or add a text manually. And for the output unchecked field, I'll select deny selection. Preview. You see, FastKeys automatically prepared a natural sentence for me by grouping positive and negative options. What I still don't like is this last and here. So I'll go to the delimiters section. This is a place to set the words or characters which separates the choices in the sentence. By default, fast keys uses commas and the word and for the last one. I'll change the last column delimiter to but. Note that I'm putting a space before and after the word. It's better now. And what if I don't want to group the selections? I just go to the delimiters again and uncheck the group output option. Now you see the output is separate for each individual selection. Looks complicated? Not at all. Just a few minutes spent on trying it out, and you'll get up to speed in no time. Another example. This time I want to create a phrase with a list of insurance policies the client currently holds. Here, I'll try to separate positive and negative selections into two separate sentences. I'll add the manual text into the output checked and unchecked fields. I'll put a full stop at the end. Okay, this should do it. And then I'll go to delimiters and replace the last column delimiter here to space. I'm keeping the group output option enabled. Running the phrase. You see, now I got two nice sentences summarizing my selections. That's not all. Alternatively, I could also set a completely different output for each combination of checkboxes. I can do that simply by entering the text into the grid. Double click again. For each selection, I'm defining the specific output for the cases the box is checked or unchecked. Something like this. 
I'll also make sure to set both outputs to field, instruct fast keys to output the individual field values, and let's try it out. So you see, there's many amazing features in fast keys designed specifically for working professionals. Try it now. I hope this was interesting for you. It always is for me. Fast keys is free to try. So check it out today and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future automation tips like this one to make the most of your fast keys time. And if you thought I did a good job on narrating this, it comes from all my public speaking coaching work where I show people how to be more effective speakers. Check me out at publicdynamics.com to learn about my coaching internationally. Thanks and take care.